Science Central. Before there was a way to screen donated blood for HIV, many people got AIDS through blood transfusions. But some rare individuals who received infected blood or other HIV exposures never developed AIDS. Now researchers hope to create that same immunity in people who already have HIV. What our research does is find a way to copy that so that people then who already have HIV can now have cells now that have natural resistance to HIV. HIV attacks immune system cells that fight diseases. A gatekeeper molecule on these cells lets the virus in and it kills the immune cell. But some people have a natural gene mutation that disables the gatekeeper so HIV can't enter. The University of Pennsylvania's Carl June and Elena Perez used a designer version of a natural protein to find and break the gene for the gatekeeper in human immune cells. They showed that made the cells resistant to HIV. As they wrote in the journal Nature Biotechnology, they then used the resistant cells to treat HIV in mice. This is the first time that you could induce a permanent resistance of cells to the HIV virus. HIV has shown time and again that it's good at mutating and thwarting treatments. But since this strategy shuts the door on the virus, the researchers are hopeful as they plan safety tests of the treatment in HIV patients using their own modified cells. For Science Central News, I'm Brad Closa. Thank <music> you.